Welcome back to Fill in the Gaps. I am Egg, and with me are two, you would never believe it, fantastic human slash tattoo artists, Sam and Jake. Hi. <laughs> Jake doesn't want to hear his voice, but unfortunately, here we are recording a podcast. So, <sighs> welcome, Jake. Um, yeah. I heard you didn't shower before you came here, so... Yeah, no, nice and smelly, yeah, and it, nice and nasally. Yeah, it's lucky that you can't smell a podcast, <laughs> then we'd be in trouble, but... Soon. Soon. 2030. Yeah. Lock it in. 2030, you'll be able to smell podcasts. Mm-hmm. Scratch and sniff podcasts. <laughs> Maybe I'll make the scratch and sniff snickers. Uh, stickers. Snickers. Stickers. And it would just be your stench after not having a shower. <laughs> Go with that. Marketing. <laughs> 2030. <laughs> Coming to a podcast near you soon. Um, thanks for joining us, as always. Um, please be sure to like, subscribe, share the show, all that fun stuff. Like you guys have been. Thank you very much. Anytime. Um, how have you been? I know it was stressful getting here because we're in the middle of nowhere in a shed. Yeah. That doesn't sound creepy. Um, but you got here. I did. You did. Yeah. You're here. Yeah. Accounted for. Only just. He's a very good driver. <laughs> good. <laughs> Maps led us astray. Okay. It's Maps' fault. Yeah. Not yeah. Jake. No. And okay. not mine. It was Maps. And I was the uh-huh. one directing. Always the way. Be, be honest. So it definitely wasn't your fault, <laughs> but you're here now, and that's what's important. Um, and you guys obviously working at now Electric Wizard, yeah, formerly Modern Ink in Frio. Yeah, just had your flash day for Halloween. Yeah, how did that go? It was good. Fun. Yeah. I think everyone got to do a few of the tattoos that they wanted to do. Good. We had a lot of flash, probably too much flash, but it was good. We got yeah. to decorate. There was lots of lollies. It was nice. Lollies? Yeah. Oh, I knew I should have come <laughs> and down. And we've got so many left over. <laughs> and th- you came empty. Ha- okay. <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Remind them to bring lollies next yeah. time. Cool. <laughs> that's fine. I had too much on Halloween as well. I, um, yeah, sat out on the on the lawn and put, like, bandages around my head and just sat there with a bucket of candy. And then when kids came, I was just scaring the shit out of them. It was so fun. Oh. We're so fun. We're the second unit in our house, so we don't have somewhere where we can like decorate. Yeah, I that wanted sucks. to. We don't get trick or treaters. Uh, did you guys dress up? No. Oh, we did for Halloween. For Flash Day. Yeah. For Flash Day. Gotcha. What did you dress as? I was the second twin with Rayo of the Shining Twins. Fair enough. Yeah. And you were the first twin. I no. was where's Wally. <laughs> nice classic. Yeah. Classic. Just reusing a yep. old. Yep. I wanted to go as a Donnie Darko bunny. But a what? The, uh, you watch Donnie Darko? Nope. Uh, What's Donnie a, Darko? It's a film. Gotcha. And there's a bunny in it that's kind of like fucked up. I wanted to go as that. But one, it was $300. <laughs> and two, I want to get into it December. So gotcha. Like, don't really want to spend $300. Yeah, maybe Christmas. Christmas flash day. <laughs> I'm a bit of a Scrooge when it comes to Christmas. Eh, uh, fair. Yeah. yeah. It's not used to the hot summers. No, but it's good because it doesn't feel like Christmas. Mm. But then you don't get Christmas. Is what it is. It is what it is. is. He still gets presents. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> the leftover lollies from Halloween. That's yeah. his presents. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Um, so I know you guys have a few hobbies outside of tattooing, thus being on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, Sam, I know you're into the gym. I am. So yes. am I. We've got to hit a session sometime. Yeah. <laughs> um, how's that been going? Because I know that you had a pretty... I was going to say weird. That's that's a harsh way to put it. Mm. Um, way getting into active things because you were part of the circus growing up. Is that correct? No, no? but I did circus. Oh. I did circus when I was... Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was part of the circus Okay, growing okay. Up. You did circus. Yeah. I don't know the difference there, so please fill in the gaps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I did... I played soccer here. While I was young, gotcha. all through school. Mm-hmm. And then when I got my apprenticeship, I wasn't able to continue playing and working mm-hmm. and the workload. So I dropped out of pretty much all exercise. I had no money. I wasn't eating well. <laughs> it wasn't great. Life um, sounds great. No. And then <laughs> eventually when I did have money, I started taking circus classes with friends. And we started with pole. And then we started on like aerial hoop and kind of went from there. I see. And then I go zero to 100 in anything that I really like. So I just bought a lot of <laughs> it's not in <laughs> a lot of classes. Like I've got lots of friends who do it. We'll go and train ourselves and just 
the kind of outside of classes and just mess around. Gotcha. Um, but I got into that and then because I'd lost all my strength and just like like activity, like fitness level, I then hopped back into the gym to try and get fitter for that. Mm-hmm. And then classes for circus ended up getting harder to obtain and book around tattooing. Yeah. So I haven't done that as much, but still would love to. Yeah. It's just in between booking a space to practice that and then working and tattooing and life and other gym, but our gym gotcha. is two minutes down the road. So nice. it's a very easy What gym do you go to? Revo. I've heard Revo is good. It is. Yeah. And it's cheap. Okay. Yeah. Twenty four seven. Hey. Yeah, I got a um plus fitness. Yeah. And most of them are pretty shit. Mm. Offense plus actually full offense. Um <laughs> but the one I go to just got redone, so it's very okay. modern and very nice. Um but yeah, most of them are pretty I shit. Think, I think Revo's on a train of like revamping a lot of the yeah. the gyms. But yeah. because it's twenty four seven I go early in the morning and then I'm able to finish that before the day even starts. Are you one of those early morning gym people that kind of shit on people? They're like, oh, you you go in the afternoon. Okay, well, I go at 5 a.m. Yeah, so I've done like 10,000 steps before yeah, you've yeah. woken up. <laughs> Are you one of those people? Yeah. Sorry, is she one of those people? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I assume so. I and I'm the one that she could give shit to. I did not. <laughs> oh, still in bed, are we? Yeah. I've already been to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. L- l- rolled up a list of things she's done in the morning. And I'm just still waking up. Yeah, but... You have to. We complement each other. We can't both be the same. Or someone enough. has to walk our dog and she'll wake me up. So if I'm already awake, we've gymmed, we've walked, he's slept in and then we do our day. What kind of dog do you have? She's a yeah, <laughs> a mix of everything. She's a Jack Russell, Chihuahua, Cavalier, but like little baby. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, she's the best. Lucky um, my fiancé isn't here because she loves Cavaliers and has a Chihuahua herself. Oh. The Jack Russell part, she's kind of like... I wouldn't really say yeah. she looks like her. No, I much. think maybe her Cavalier might even be maybe either temperament or like she's very soft. Like I she see. She looks quite Jack Russell-y. Okay. She's not super yappy or like small dog kind of syndrome-ish. Mm-hmm. But she's got the wiry hairs of like a Jack Russell, but she's very soft. Okay. And I know that Cavaliers are like... Lovely fluffy babies. Okay. But see. she's kind of a mix of everything. We okay. did buy a DNA test and there's just a lot of dogs in <laughs> our one dog. It was like $200, but it was so worth it because I can tell you now what she is. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. But was it? Was she a rescue or did she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a very confident I, yes. It, it, it was an ordeal. I have a, my like hidden talent in life is finding dogs that either don't have homes or have run away from homes. Like, I found a dog this morning on the street who'd gotten out of his house, but I found her. It's a weekly occurrence. Yeah, and I'll, I'll return them most of the time, or if I can catch them, I take them to the vet, and they microchip them and then call their parents. I see. Um, but I found our little baby, and she had no collar, and she had no microchip, but because she had no microchip, she was seized by the council and everything. Turned out she was our neighbours. Our neighbours didn't want her. And then I had to fight with the council for an entire month and poor Jake listened to me cry over a dog that no one else had met but me. And then when we were able to adopt her, Jake got her for me for my birthday and paid for her. And then those two have been bonded ever since and I'm now the one out of the couple. You're third wheeling now. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, there you go. So she was my baby. Well, she's definitely our baby. But, okay. like, I'm the one who feeds and walks her. Okay. And I get dragged out of bed on a Sunday morning at 6.30. And Jake You're not even out of bed at 6.30? <laughs> I've already been to the That's gym. That's my rest <laughs> day. <laughs> but Jake gets all the snuggles. And, yeah, they have a like a soul dog uh-huh. relationship. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I want to try and guess the dog's name. What does it start with? A C. Is it a very basic name? No. Okay, I was going to... It's off a character. I was going to say Charlie. No. But thank you. Fuck. <laughs> um, it's of a character. Clifford. Yeah. No. Oh. She's a little lady. Oh, fair. Um, I don't know. You what is it? Pick the name. What is it? Cordelia. That was my next guess. <laughs> <laughs> Call her Cordy, but it's from Buffy. Jake picked it. Buffy the Vampire <laughs> Slayer. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that might be the first time in these 12 episodes where I've got any show or movie right I'm or anything. I'm terrible with shows and movies. Like, I'm 
so terrible. I'd never watched anything growing up. Same. And Jake will always be yeah. like uncultured. Yeah. That's like <laughs> even before when you said whatever movie you said. I haven't seen it either. I've got no idea Neither what you're talking about. Literally no, no idea. Jake, sh- Jake educated me in Buffy and it was like a very good watch. We watched everything. And then when I showed I don't him love co- like the character Cordelia. I just need to put that uh-huh. out there. Yeah. I just like the name. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She's mm-hmm. a little bit of a stuck up galley. But like the dog or the character? Uh, no. Both. <laughs> <laughs> well, our baby, she knows that she's the queen of the castle, and I think that's probably very like true to her character. I see. But like it's just a pretty name. Yeah. 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 She's okay. very cute. Can't argue with that. Cannot argue with that. And then um yeah, so going to the gym early in the morning, are you just mm. doing like resistance kind of stuff, like strength training, or are you training for anything in specific? Or? I signed up to run a half marathon without any running experience prior to soccer. Nice. Have you done it or are you going to it's do it? It's in a few weeks. So I'm training for that. What so half marathon is the it? The Frio half marathon. I didn't even know that was a thing. Neither did I. Have his registration still opened? Probably. I'll run it with you. Okay. Bet. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. Um, yeah, Jake's like, I'm not. <laughs> I'd rather you than me. Yeah. I, I w- you just you just hold the dog. And just I won't I I drag him into it. End of, end of the line. Yeah. No, but I'm training for that. So a lot of the gym has kind of dropped back to I'm doing three gyms a week and then three runs a week. Gotcha. But more of my training, it was strength. Mm-hmm. And then now it's more based to strength and running. Okay. So like more full bodies rather than like a split of like two uppers, two yeah, lowers yeah. or anything like yeah. that. And it's a lot of like single leg work and like – performance yep. for running. Yeah. But it's good. I'm sore. I have What do you prefer between that and like doing the splits? I like both. Like I'm really enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Um and then because again zero to a hundred I signed up for a half this year. I want to do a full next year. Nice. So then there'll be more running. Won't be joining on that one. That's but fair. <laughs> no, I can go <laughs> Most um, I've ever done is ten K. I've done that a few times. Yeah. But like I used to do run club and all that. Yeah. But yeah, but I see, know. I run by myself most of the time, but I'm really excited for the races because the races are, like, they're with people. Yep. And the atmosphere is really good because I did City to Surf. Yeah. And, pr- again, prior, I was running by myself. Um, but I figured if I can run by myself and I can run the distance by myself, I'm fine with people. And oh I, yeah. I'm probably going to be speedier with people. Yeah, 100%. So but much easier with people. It's really fun. Yep. Like, it's nice. I just listen to podcasts. I've been listening Same. to your podcast. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Oh, my God. It means I can... Educate myself on something or nothing at all yep. while I run for an hour and a half. Yep. And I'm doing two things at once. Yep. But nice. I, I'm enjoying it. Good I'm stuff. Enjoying have, you, have you got a time that you're aiming for or are you just going to do your best? I don't want to say it out loud, but yeah, I have a time. Because say it quietly then. <laughs> no, I have a time. But I'm pretty close to it because my Saturdays are long run days at the moment and we're doing the closest we can to the half marathon distance mm-hmm. and then we'll drop back before the race. And then we'll run the race. Okay. But in the times that I'm doing now in, like, my lead up, I'm fine. Okay. Good but stuff. I'm not putting it out there. It's just for me. I am not going to be fine because I haven't been doing very much running It'll recently. I've just been doing volume training Sign up at and the you'll gym, get a free so. shirt. And then you can just say Free shirt. It. I'm all about yeah, that. absolutely. All about that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And are you into the gym? I've started the past three, three. Uh, three months. Three You've months. done well. Yep. Hey, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Trust me, that's better than you saying, yeah, no, I'm going to, because no. that just translates to no, not going to. It, it's one of my many conspiracies in life. Conspiracies? Yeah, that and water. <laughs> I Tell us. Please, I need to hear more about <laughs> this, because I'm not just moving on from right, that. I, n- I never used to drink water. My drink, what do you want to call it? Drink of choice. No, just like... I've lost for words now. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, oh fuck, I can't think of What you'd hydrate yourself with. Yes. There's a word I'm looking for. I can't think of it. Well, but all I would drink of was like cordial or fizzy drinks. Okay. That was my, that was my diet. Yeah. And then I was like, should probably save my insides, you know, save my teeth a bit more. Yeah. I'd switch to water and I've never been fucking more thirsty in all my life. He was never thirsty beforehand. And now he's drinking the things that he should be drinking. And I'm always thirsty. I'm <laughs> never quenched. I feel like you were thirsty. You just didn't notice that you were thirsty. I feel like it's a different kind of thirst. No, yeah. no it's, a, it's, it's a hoax is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then what, the gym, what's... Because is that everyone goes, oh, give it six, seven weeks and you'll feel great. That's not true. Like, I know. Yeah, you don't feel great. 
I never feel you great. You see results and then you feel great because no, of the results. I still don't see results. Yeah, but after seven weeks, you don't see results. No, but it's been like three months. Yeah, but like you didn't have a consistent plan. Like, because I've, I've got a PT. Okay. And like, I, again, like I'll just go into everything and then I've got someone to tell me what to do. I don't really need the discipline because I'm already there, but mm-hmm. I need to know what to do. What to do. Gotcha. And then I got one of my clients just to write up like tattoo clients, a basic plan for Jake. But before that, he was just following something off the internet. So mm-hmm. it wasn't based for him. I see. But still moving, yep. which is great. Moving's better than not moving. Yeah. That's it. Sure. Come to the gym with is, me. Is it though? It is. Is it though? It is. And water's better than cordial. Because I've never been more happy when I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you feel more comfortable. But you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's yeah. what they say, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the gym bros. Yeah. I'm not a gym bro. <laughs> <laughs> My missus tries to call me a gym bro every now and then because she's like, you're always at the gym. I'm like, gym rat, I'm happy with. Gym bro, absolutely not. Because I don't know. Ask me the same question in a, in a year. Okay. Book it in. 2030, scratch and sniff stickers with your stench after not showering yeah. while doing the gym until then. Well, that's the other fucking thing as well. Showering is that, a conspiracy. Well, yeah, that. <laughs> but no, like the whole like gym fucking, it's endless. It's not like, oh, if I do it for a year, I'm ripped. And I don't have to do it again. No, it's till the day you fucking die yep. or you get fed up. Yeah. So, brilliant. Mate, I've been <laughs> going to the gym since I was 15 and now I'm 22 mm-hmm. and I'm far from ripped. There's a lot of progress, but yeah. I'm far from ripped. It doesn't just happen like that. And, and you're probably sucks. doing everything better than you were when you were at 15. Oh, but like a you million can percent. still probably improve on it by the time you're 50. I, like I've looked at videos from when I was 20 doing squats and stuff. Still got the pad on the bar oh, yeah. and like hitting no depth at all. I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? At the time, but you were like, I'm so good. I know. I'm like, look at me. I'm squatting 55 kilos. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's not a good look. But no, my training's going really well recently, and there definitely are like results that you can see. Yeah. But further thing from ripped, and yeah, it sucks. And now I'm gonna You'll do it. Now I'm gonna do a half <laughs> marathon. I don't want to be ripped. Ripped. Yeah. I just what What would be your goal? From the gym, what would you want to see happen? Like gain weight, lose weight, get more toned? Just more toned. I don't want to be this like fucking stocky burly fuck. Yeah. Like, that's not me. I just want to look a bit more... Chiseled. Yeah, just a little bit more, you know. I want a nice tit and not a saggy tit. You can have... Yeah, you want to... Oh, oh, you mean you want to... Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And it helps our backs. Yeah. To work. Yeah. If it can help your back, it'd be good. <sighs> yeah, yeah. No, I went. Be- I started because I went to the doctors and my blood pressure was kind of high. Mm-hmm. She was like, "It's fine. Don't stress. It could be like anything. It could be something you ate that morning." Mm-hmm. But I was like, "To be fair, I don't do anything, mm-hmm. and doctors don't seem to quite understand how much I don't do something because mm-hmm. they look at my stature and they're like, "But you're skinny and you're mm-hmm. young," and I'm like, "But I do nothing." Yeah. Like, you're lucky if I get 2,000 steps every day. Yeah. So, like, after that... That's just a body type thing. Like, yeah, that's yeah, all it is. I know, but they they automatically look at you and yeah. go, like, oh, you're fit and you're young. I'm yeah. like, bro, I'm not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm telling you now. I mean, that's another thing that people don't talk about when, like, they're starting up at the gym or what people starting at the gym don't get told is that when you want to say progress in the gym, like, 90% of it is diet. Oh, yeah. You can train as hard as you want, but if you eat like shit, nothing's going to happen. And... He yeah. poked oh, fun yeah. at me and like, and not in a bad way, he poked fun at me because everything had protein in it. But I also, again, I had my PT, so like yeah. I knew what to eat kind yeah. of and like arranged than what I did beforehand. Yeah. And then when Jake got into the gym, he's like, what's the protein thing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're not eating enough, eat more. Yes. Yes. It's it's fucking lot. It is. It is. Like, and I've been on a very boring diet. It's been a little bit slack recently because of like weddings and stuff like that, but been on a very strict diet of four meals of tofu rice and beans per day nice. and then my snacks is just low-fat yogurt and eggs and then that's it see i'm a bit of a food snob i'm not at all Neither and that's that's I. why I it's okay for me i wish i was like that yeah. but no I'm, I'm you're the same as my missus she like helps me cook it sometimes she's like just put something in it please put sauce in it something and i'm like it's fine yeah, it's that was me. even white people are really bad stereotypes yeah, yeah. Like the whole you know we like bland shit what want to see me give it give white people an even worse stereotype <laughs> sweet chili sauce makes my mouth burn 
So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, to be fair, I had a friend that couldn't eat pepper. Yeah, even pepper sometimes. Like if I get a little bit of pepper, like I chew down on it. I'm like, oh, okay, oh. but that doesn't taste nice. Like yeah. I, I'm not the. But it burns. Okay. Yeah, I still eat it. Like, just to be clear, I can go to Nando's, get like the extra hot sweating. or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, if I have something even mildly hot, just drenched under my eyes and armpits. That's and everything. your workout for the day. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Get on to food and all that, talking about circus. Oh, I'm still yeah. confused. So, <laughs> is <laughs> just to circle back, you know. Um, so, is doing circus and being in the circus. At it's all related? It's not like clowns and elephants. Yeah, but like, but like the, uh, the uh, yeah, acrobatic I mean, stuff. But like they're professional athletes. So you're just training. Yeah, I'm just doing almost like a sport, but gotcha. like I'm very okay. much an amateur in okay. like the sport. Yeah. And like I picked it up being like, I don't know, 20, 21. Yeah. So like these people have been training since they were like two years old yeah. in like a certain like, I think they call it discipline. So like trapeze yeah. or like acrobatics or anything like that so is it kind of similar to like you go to the gym but that doesn't make you a bodybuilder yeah okay yeah gotcha like gotcha <laughs> <sighs> sorry another conspiracy <laughs> another thing they didn't tell you about hey yeah no. um no i was just doing it for fun because it was another way to like get some strength in but it was more friends instead of just going to the gym because yeah. i hadn't stepped foot really in a gym at that point yeah and that was a lot more daunting than just going to like a fun like pole dancing class yeah, to start yeah. off with with friends. It is daunting, hey. Yeah, like starting and then at like the gym. I didn't pole wasn't for me. It mm-hmm. was just it was hot and like you could you could be strong and then you could like slip on the pole because it's metal. Yeah. So it was frustrating if you were you thought you could do it and then you have to wipe your pole and then go again and then wipe your pole. So yeah. then there were different classes at the studio that I started at that were like silks. Or like Lyra, which is what I ended up doing, which is hoop. Yeah. And then I tried hoop and fell in love with that, and it was you. Ju- you just kind of knew. What's yeah. hoop? It's like aerial hoop. So like it's a big, it's like a stainless steel metal ring that's like sp- suspended in the air. Gotcha. And you okay. do tricks inside the mm. hoop. Nice. What's the best trick you can do? Oh, I wouldn't. They've all got the same name. There's like I think there's about fifty stars, but they're all like different kinds of stars. Mine's number forty six. That's yeah. my favorite kind. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pretty good one. I could just pick anything and just yeah. give that to you, and that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trick. gonna, I'm not gonna yeah, know any no, different. So I mean, I can picture it in my head, but like little like handstands on the bar and like. Nice. Yeah. I really want to learn how to handstand walk. I just want to learn how to handstand. Yeah, I can't even handstand to be yeah. fair, but yeah, I don't know. Okay. Also, I would love to like Paul seems pretty cool, but I've got tiny hands and I sweat very easily. So even at the gym trying to lift heavy weights, my hands just start slipping. Yeah. I can lift it, but like. Even you know how like 20 kilo barbells are thicker and then 15 kilo ones are like skinnier? Mm. I most of the time have to use 15s because I just can't wrap my hands around yeah. them. I need to get hand wraps. Well, half of the reason why I picked up running was because like I enjoyed doing circus and I enjoyed the gym. Yeah. But like they're like specific skills that you can only do. Yeah, yeah. At Like you can't practice pole outside of the pole studio. Yeah. Or like even like the like hoop that I train that it's like you can go out with a pair of shoes and go for a run. Yeah. And enjoy it. And, like, not have to, like, I've booked a space. I've paid for a class. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, all of that. Yeah. But no, I get that. Yeah. I've got small hands too. <laughs> oh, it's the worst, hey. Like, I'm, like, almost a foot taller than my missus and our hands are, like, the same size. It's ridiculous. I hate it so much. Like, it's so frustrating. Like, look you at that. You have big hands. I've just got it's gross ridiculous. hands. You know, that what, you know what they say about guys with big hands? <laughs> big gloves. <laughs> <laughs> um... Speaking of gloves, goalkeepers wear gloves. Um, football. <laughs> I remember all the months back that we did the consult, you um, you said that you grew up near like someone that went to the league playing football. Oh, yeah, but and I don't, don't want to name, name drop. He, did, like he doesn't want to name I drop. I feel like that's distasteful. He doesn't want to name drop, but just letting you know it was messy, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, so what was it like growing up with Messi and how did you get into – Football, I'm assuming it was just like the British it's culture. Just culture. Yeah. It's just what you... Like, we, where I grew up... Um, In Argentina, of course. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. A 45-second walk, there's a massive pavilion. Yeah. And, like, every summer, it'd just be football from breakfast to dawn. Yeah. Dawn, is that right? Yeah. Or night, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, whatever it is. Um, can't make myself sound more intellectual than I am. <laughs> 
and then yeah, that was it. It's just always, always football, oh, football until I want to say th- 12, 13. Well, it sounds like young, but then that's when you start getting into like someone slips you in a Nirvana disc, and you're like, fuck, and then you start yeah. skateboarding, and yeah, go down that hole, yeah. Yeah. Alternative side, but yeah. yeah, no, I'd always played football. I, I played football. I just stopped doing it as serious for teams and stuff. Yeah, at, like obviously at twelve, like I used to do it with my uncle, my uncle who was my age. Am I weird? Your uncle who was your age? Yeah, have an that uncle always like age. blows my mind. Yeah. Hey, because I never grew up with anything like that. Well, all. I'd, yeah, I wouldn't say I was close with him. I w- he was just like, he, I had an uncle that was my age, one that was a year older, and one that was two years older. Fuck that! Just yeah. like my yeah. granddad did not remarry him, basically, and then had kids. Um, okay. But he, my granddad, used to go around and do like confectionery stores, like popcorn and candy floss. Yeah, yeah. So he would do it at like the tournaments they used to hold hold the footballs at. Yeah. And are we because we were in the same team, he'd come and he'd take us and that kind of thing. And yeah. then I just stopped doing it and. Got into skateboarding. It. Yeah, and was shit at that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have stuck at football. Hey, no one said you were shit at football. Okay, it's all right. I was all right at football, to be fair. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I remember you saying that you were like messy level of no, football. I, so. I, I, w- <laughs> I wouldn't say I was like... Passable. Uh, yeah, I was... I w- if you stuck with it, like... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I was... Like, I wasn't te- like I wasn't skillful, but I could... Naturally talented or... I think I'm naturally talented at everything. <laughs> I no- agree. There's nothing I'm bad at. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, I think I was all right. Like yeah. I said, I'm, you wouldn't sit there and go, like, you know when some people pick up the ball, you're just like, well, yeah. they're just, you yeah. can just see it. They just yeah, lose yeah. that kind of style. Yeah. I wasn't that, but I was the run of the mill. Yeah. Know, like a, do, do the knit and gritty. Yeah. Yeah. What position were you? Midfield is always my, I, I preferred. Yeah. Um, Wing or central? Yeah. Uh, Frank, uh, Frank Lampard was my, my idol growing up. I have heard that name before. I'm yeah. not a big soccer fan, but I've heard but that no, name yeah. before. The Lamps was like, I wanted to be him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. And did you watch the um, Women's World Cup? Yes. Yeah. Because I went to the Matildas just the other night at HBF uh, Park. We didn't know that was on. I oh, know. I was like, because like I grew up playing soccer too. Like both of us were like in front of the TV every time yeah. the games were on. Yeah. And like I'd never watched really any of the other games until I was with Jake. Yeah. And now we watch them if I'm not asleep. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll watch them if I am asleep. Yeah. Um, but when the Tillies were playing, I couldn't do anything. Because I've never been a big fan of soccer or football. Um, I'm a massive fan of, like, m- basketball and foot and uh, Australian rules are my two. But, like, any sport, I'll just watch it if mm. it's on. Soccer's that one where I'm like, yeah, I don't know. My mate's growing up played soccer so i kind of kicked the ball around a bit but then yeah when the matildas started like really mm. going well i was like i can get behind this this is cool and then yeah my um my mate shout out to ellie she's a gun soccer player um watch out she's going to be in the a-league soon just just <laughs> just a flex I, I know her before she gets the a-league just so we're clear um but she had tickets and then her parents couldn't make it to mm. like all of the games in Perth. So I was meant to go to the one at Optus but couldn't make it. And then, yeah, we went to the one at HBF and it was really good. Yeah. And I got to see Mary Fowler, which I was really happy about. Because She's so pretty. I know. <laughs> um, me, me and my fiance have had this massive debate because she thinks that Mary Fowler is the most average looking girl ever. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? She's gorgeous. No, but but that's the thing is that she's like, oh, Lady Gaga is a 10 out of 10. I'm like, no. (laughs) She's not. I like her music and everything. She's not. I'm not saying she's ugly. But exactly, she's not, she's not ugly. 10. No, you were looking at going, oh, that's a 10. exactly. And then she's like, "Oh, Mary Fowler, you see Mary Fowler's walking around all the time." I'm like, "Where are you seeing them?" Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> point them out. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, like when she scored at the HBF Park game, they just showed Nathan Cleary up on the screen, the rugby player that she's dating. Oh, really? And I'm like, "Bite him." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's your goals. That's what you got to look like. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't really want to look like him. Have you seen his jaw? I don't even know I who he no, is. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> <don't> <laughs> when, when I've just uh, imagined some big <coughs> docky fuck. <coughs> he's like, um, he's 25 or something, but he's like the best player in the NRL and his team's won the last three premierships like pretty much off his back. So he's like one of the all-time greats already and he's 25. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's got a jaw on him. Like just, he looks like a Minecraft character. <laughs> like by all means, love him as a rug- rugby player, but 
I mean, surely the fame's what got him Mary Fowler because, I mean, maybe he's got a lovely personality. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? You, I, I always think fame and money gets you gets you better off than I think what you can just look at Elon Musk. Yeah, I know. I could take him in a fight. <laughs> yeah, but just like you, you think, reckon you could take him in a fight? You think about some yeah. of the women like that he like got with, yeah. or even Pete Davidson. Yeah, like, I don't. Do un- what do you think of Pete Davidson? Like uh, in looks wise, people. No, to be fair, girls do like funny. I'm just talking looks yeah, because no, there's no. girls that are like, he's hot as fuck. I'm like, where are you looking? The fact I have to dig really deep in me to like actually figure out what he looks like. But I know who you're talking about. He looks like Isn't a fish on meth. Yeah. <laughs> Does he not? Like, he's so funny. I, I love him I so much. I just think much, he's just a, um, I just think he's a regular looking guy. He's like a four or cer- five out of ten. Because there's certain like A-list celebrities, if you want to call them that, whatever, that you're like, okay, you look like a, yeah, you know, yeah, you're in that bracket, yeah. and then you look at Pete Davidson, and you're like, oh, you're just a, a normal fucking dude. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I don't get it. And girls like he's so hot. I'm like, I think you're getting funny and hot confused because well, that's that's all right. That, if if they want to get it confused, <laughs> you let them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> got to do it for the funny guys out here, right? Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, and yeah, football as we were talking about. Um, <laughs> who's the hottest football player? Male. Beckham. Other than Beckham. Because and Ronaldo. Frankie Lampard. Frankie Lampard's my boy. He's has he got posters up in his room? No. I We're in some. a rental, we can't hang posters. <laughs> he would for Frankie Lampard. <laughs> yeah, I used to have his signed shirt and signed picture off my wall. Nice. Did you buy them or did you get them signed? No, we every um back at home you can go to the stadium and every how they do it, but I'm assuming every so often they'll have a certain player <coughs> where you can queue up and get them to sign shit. Yeah, nice. A little meet and greet. Mm. But yeah, I would, you say hi, they go, yeah, they go, yeah, and then oh, fuck off. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who he grew up with that was the football player. Huh? He's told me, but again, I can't remember a name. <laughs> remember a name. Frank Lampard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not. I'm not. I just. I just. I don't no, know. No, no, I always no. think it's just a bit. No, you don't have to. It's all good. Strange when you start name. Hey, mm-hmm. We know that it's messy. It's fine. Um, and you go for Chelsea. Is that right? Because I guessed that at the consult. I remember <laughs> that. I'm so proud of myself for that because I could name like five teams. So couldn't name your player from Chelsea. Frank Lampard. There you go. <laughs> name another one. Not a chance. Yeah. Um, are they going okay in the league this year? No. <laughs> no. Okay. No, we haven't been going well for a couple of years, but a lot of change. Uh Un- unprecedented, presidential change. Yeah, like from top to bottom. Gotcha. So, it's a it's a n- it's a new era. I think it's patient. Really. Yeah. What did you think about the um? Oh, I can never remember his name. The French guy Mbappe. What did you think about him turning down the offer from Saudi Arabia? Oh, fuck, I think he's the most overrated fuck in the world. There you go. <laughs> That's a hot take for <laughs> I, you. I just could give a shit. No, yeah, him. He's got. I think most people, most players now, with all social media and everything, they've got, oh, yeah, they've got more of an ego than they do skill, and they have that. He is very skillful, though. Yeah, but he's like, it's just to be demanding what he does, and but he turned it down. Yeah, but even, but I'm just talking about PSG as well. Okay, what, what he demands and everything else, I just think it's just. I don't know. I don't think anyone should be getting that kind of money for what they do. It's wild, honest, yeah. But like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think. Would you have turned down the money? I wouldn't have gone over for him. <laughs> $1.3 billion to play <laughs> yeah. one year in yeah. <laughs> Saudi. I would say, where do you want me and how do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. It's like those questions that, like, would you slap your mum for a billion? It's like, I'd slap anyone for a billion dollars. Yeah. I don't care who it is. But also, like, you could just split it. Like, the yeah. person getting slapped is still probably going to get oh, some money. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, fair enough. So Chelsea, not doing any good. No, no, I think Who's like the team at the moment? Because I have no idea. Probably City, although Tottenham are top at the moment. Yeah. What do we think of Tottenham? They're shit. What do you think of shit? Tottenham. <laughs> <laughs> we hate Tottenham. <laughs> See, I know that one. I know that one. See, look at me. Soccer and stuff. <laughs> there you go. And goalkeepers and, yeah, Ronaldo. <laughs> um, have you watched the Beckham docu- documentary? Have I? Yeah, well, that was what I kind of like almost stopped myself when I was saying about the Mbappe thing about him being... Well, not just him, but a lot of stars nowadays with that social media following and everything else, they, I, I think their ego and everything's 
high than the sport. And then you have Beckham, and I think Beckham was one of like probably the OG that started it all. Yep. Really, where yep. it was more, he became more of a celebrity status as well as a footballer. Yeah. And now they all kind of have that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's yeah. Fair no, it was good. I felt. I felt a bit bad for him with that whole England thing. I haven't even watched it yet. I've been uh, meaning to, see, but... I didn't have any background into it. You should watch it. It was good. Mm. And I felt bad. Like, it was just... What like happened? People are just cruel. Spoiler oh. alert, if anyone hasn't watched <laughs> it and you don't want to have it spoiled. Oh, then yeah, you'd never watch the, the World Cup. Fucking, what, 10, 15 years ago, whatever it was. Mm. I kicked out a player, but the manager at the time blamed... They lost, but they lost on penalties. Okay. But this was like Beckham got sent off in like the first half or whatever it was. And then they had a whole second half and penalties and still didn't fucked it basically. Mm-hmm. And then the manager at the end came out and was like, Yeah, if we <laughs> if he did get sent off we would have won and then you had the whole nation just hating him. Just for years and to the point where there was one guy on the documentary that he owned a pub and he put some skeleton in a noose over the pub in his shirt and was like yeah, put Beckham on. It's just like really over the top shit. It's harsh. <laughs> yeah. Mm, Jesus. Um, and he just got hate for years over it. Like really bad kind of hate. And I'm like. Yeah. Unwarranted. Uh, yeah, I get that. It's a big culture th- cultural thing in England. But I think there's a lot. Anyway. And he was young too at the mm. time. Like, Yeah, I don't think you'd get it now. I think now with the whole <coughs> mental health thing that's. It still happens, though. Yeah, no, but I, I, but I think to that degree... Yeah, yeah. I mean, Maguire kind of got it. That's another England player. He kind of got a lot of shit lately, but I... Because no one yet, I would say Beckham's yeah. England. Because that was literally just... I think you hear more... Like, if someone's playing bad, you'll hear it in the press and something, but Beckham's point was, like, you're going down the street and people, like, hating on him. Spitting and yeah, on yeah. him, there's, throwing at him. Yeah, yeah and there's, like shit in the shop windows and yep. stuff like it's just yeah it was nice yeah. i feel like nowadays it's kind of like you do one bad thing they hate you then you do one good thing and then they all switch back and then they love you again and like that happens a lot i'm a big nba fan happens I, so much yeah. in the nba i think that's just life i think yeah people are fickle yeah yeah because i mean there's even i don't know how much you guys know about basketball probably not a whole lot but no, the, my, my my uh knowledge on it was watching um that michael Jordan. Yeah, the um, <laughs> Michael. What's no, I was, I was trying to think of like the documentary. What it was called? Oh, the Last Dance. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good one, actually. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I also um, watched it. Um, was it Tim Curry or Steph Curry? Steph Curry. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. watched that one on. I think it was on Apple or something. Yeah, that one wasn't that good. Yeah, yeah, the Last Dance was really well put together. Um, but yeah, so in the NBA, there's this guy that got drafted number one overall. He's 19. He's from France, and he's seven foot four built like a string bean, but he moves like he's like five foot ten. Mm. Like he's just, it's insane. They call him the alien because it just doesn't look right. Like they just throw the ball up and he just like taps it like that and goes straight into the hoop. It's madness. I and think I know, I think I've seen him actually. Yeah, so his name's Victor Wembanyama yeah, and yeah. everyone's just like been so crazy about him for years. He's finally here. His first three games he played like okay, mm. but because he's so skinny, people were just like going into his chest and getting him fouled out basically. Mm. And everyone's like, oh, he's a bust. He's no good. He's gone. No, nah, he's shit. And then the other day against Kevin Durant, who's like one of the best players in the league, he drops 38 points, 12 rebounds, five assists, like five blocks. And everyone's like, oh, he's fantastic. Look at him. And it's like, okay, so you're just jumping back and forward. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah, can't keep everyone happy, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, no, that's just sports. And that's just... It's also like, <clears throat> he's 19. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you think that he's just going to be perfect all the time, so... Also, would you not be nervous? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking, but that's the thing. That's why everyone rates him so highly is because you'd expect 19-year-old comes in, they're, like, nervous, shaky. He's just, like, a professional. Like, mm-hmm. he's just been under the spotlight since he was 16. Mm-hmm. So he's just ready to go, like, professional answers, everything. And then he has one bad game. and Everyone's like, oh, fucking look at him. He's not ready for it. And yeah. So he's not getting spit on in the street. So that's not good. Yet. Lucky him. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although his bodyguards had a lawsuit with Britney Spears, so yeah. that was a whole thing. Because they like she was trying to get a photo with him and then they like pushed her off. They didn't yeah. realise it was Britney. She said, It's Britney, bitch. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, I just always remember that a YouTube video of someone screaming like Leave Britney alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Britney alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Old YouTube. Yeah. It's the best, it huh? is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, obviously, being tattoo artists, you guys are tattoo artists, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so, yeah, 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 you had to check. Not not a 
clown and a uh, football player. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean that I in a I could still in be a, a clown. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm the clown. Um, <laughs> so did you guys do art growing up, like at school and that kind of thing? Or was it just kind of, hey, I can draw. I'd like to draw on people. I drew much as a kid. I would yeah. say from a kid, I would say maybe up until maybe 13. Like, I I would copy stuff as a kid. Yeah. But not religiously. Like, every so often I would kind of, like, draw something. Yeah. Um, and then I think before we used to take GCSEs, which is, which one is it? ATAR. ATAR. Mm-hmm. I kind of realised, oh, I can, like, semi-draw. I think when you're in a classroom for about 30 people and you see yeah. what goes up, you're like, oh, that's well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can do. Yeah. Um, and then I took, oh, yeah, I took a lot of uh, cop-out lessons, I called it. Like, we got to choose four subjects. Like, we had to do English, math, science, and humanities, which is kind of like religion, education, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. And then we got to pick four. And I chose art, uh, graphic design, Photography? No. Uh, art, graphic design, food art. So food, like you make go make shit basically. <laughs> Work at Subway as a yeah. sandwich artist. Yeah. And then media. Like I just chose all like the fucking yeah. media lessons. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I yeah I like I was always kind of drawing. I think all, 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 I was getting into it. I think then um, I used to just draw. I think I didn't realize <laughs> at the time, but one of my like final projects was this big board with a drawing of a, a chick that had loads of tattoos. And then later on, I was like, oh, that's fucking Kat Von D. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was just like, it just looks cool. I just want to draw that. And yeah. I was like, oh, it's Kat Von D. Yeah. Um, and then through my whole book was just tattoo designs, really generic ones, I would say. Like just nothing, nothing like what I do now. Okay. Um, but kind of just, you, you, I, I, I don't know. I guess when you're, when you're young and you think tattoos and you see a really standard road, you're yeah, like, that's a fucking tattoo. Yeah, and then you kind of grow up and yeah, go, oh, yeah. Oh, there's better things out there. Yeah, no, there's not. That that's the best tattoo. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that yeah. is it. Yeah, <laughs> stay in the nineties and don't ever leave. Yep, that's it. Um, and then I left school, and I had a. F- oh, I was raised by my nan pretty much, my dad as well, but I live with my nan pretty much. Um, and she fell ill towards the end of my ATAR and GCSEs. So I kind of wasn't there and was there. Yeah. Um, and then when that, that ended, she was still ill. But I kind of looked after her for about a year. And then she passed away. And then um, I kind of had like a midlife crisis at like 19 or something really weirdly. <laughs> and I was just like, fuck, I don't know what to do with my life. Hey. Yeah. Um, and just applied for all these colleges and stuff and completely forgot about it. And then one day I had a phone call and they were like, do you want to, did you apply for art, like art, was it fine art and something? And I was like, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, yeah, do you put this application in like two months ago? I was like, oh, okay, cool. And, I still, and then they were like, do you want to start? And I was like, when is it? And they were like, next week. And I was like, and I'm not doing anything, so I guess. And then I just did that for a, a year. Um I was I was doing that as I kind of got an apprenticeship as well. I don't know. Yeah, my whole timeline of that part of my life is very, very hazy. I would yeah. say I think it was a lot, of <laughs> a lot of trauma. Yeah. So I think everything's just a bit like I'm like, was it this year? Was it that year? But yeah, I was a bit up and down, a bit everywhere, and I d- I did art, but I didn't necessarily do it to help my my career. Yeah. Like. When I went and did fine art, I was already doing an apprenticeship, and I kind of, like, I had a fr- I made a friend there, and he came into the shop with me because we were doing like stick and pokes on each other, and I was kind of teaching him how you would hand carbon because everyone just puts it through like a thermal yeah. printer now, as well. Yeah. Back in the day, we would hand do yeah. it, and um, he was like, "Fuck, it's so different." Just even doing that because I was like, "You have to pull the whole line," yeah. whereas you're so used to sketching. Yeah, yeah. And I was, so when I got into fine art and everything, I was like, I don't want to do what I'm doing every day. I want to do other things. And I kind of ended up just doing photography because he was really into like 35 mil uh, 
35 millimeter photography kind of is into point and click and you can kind of snazzy with pictures and stuff. And he used to do kind of magazines, they call zines, but for like for skate companies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just got into that whole kind of world of him for a, a short free amount of time. Yep. So I kind of went into that avenue mm-hmm. and then that ended and then I stuck to, stuck to tail in. So I used to do geometry and stuff when I first started. Yeah. And I don't do that anymore. I'd, I'd look at it and go, no, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who would do that? Yeah, no, yeah. No. Well, it's good because I, I just go, I'll just see where missing. She'll do it for you. But yeah, no, my, my, my I, I really liked it. And then my, my logic behind it was, I was like, if I can line that, I should be able to line anything. Yeah. <laughs> Straight lines. Yeah. And all this other shit. So I was like, if I can do that, I should be, yeah. I should be sweet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I stopped doing that just before I came here. And then I transitioned into traditional. And I started out with American trad. I think everyone starts out with American trad. But mm-hmm. now I would say mine's like kind of Euro trad, the best way to kind of describe it. Euro trad. I would say. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of more, it's more realistic. Okay. It's got more detail in it than gotcha. actual trad stuff. Gotcha. And the colour palette's different to American okay. traditional. It's more yeah. vibrant and vintagey looking. Do you also use a machine that just like rattles the whole fucking room or do you have a quiet machine unlike I have both. I have all my my machine collection is is unholy. Hefty. Yeah. Nice. I like machines. Yeah. I want to get into building one day, but I don't know. I say, I say you you always find excuses, you know, there's, but I think it's hard when you're in a rental. Like I think if we had our own place, I'd turn the garage into a yeah into a workshop and stuff like that, and probably start trying to build and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but you can't really do it at the moment when you're yeah, in, yeah. in a in oh, a rental. It's difficult. Yeah, it's just yeah. end up sawing half the wall across, and then yeah. like, what was this? Oh, that's probably the one I can yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was the dog. The <laughs> But yeah, one day I I hope to do something like that. Yeah, nice. I'll speak it into existence. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Make it happen. See, I, I I come up with a lot of ideas that yep. never actually. Hey, twenty thirty, we've got a lot of things planned. Hey, a lot <sighs> yeah. of things. Uh, yeah, Sam's got a list of my hundred and one million I- dollar ideas. Yeah, yeah, yep. it's in my phone. Whether I'll do it or not. Move to Saudi and play soccer. <laughs> I can't even remember half of them. The only one I can ever remember is only clothes. Uh, <laughs> the note didn't transfer over, transfer over with my new phone. So you've lost all the money. So we don't get rich. It's like you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but him and my sister will come up with some of the funniest things. And Jake by himself sometimes will just like, will be quite quiet or like driving or like in the house and we're just watching something. He's like, like. I this feel like is that's the a, idea. That's a guy thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, cause I, don't, I don't know. I just, you know, sometimes you're just thinking about, like, it all, I think I've always been a bit like it. When I was a kid, this is another avenue. You know, there's like certain points in your life where you're like, that was a point where I could have gone in this direction or that direction. Yeah. I think football was one of them when I was a kid because I even kind of kept on doing that and kind of being more of a jockey kid yeah. instead of being the more alternative yeah. or that. And the other one was when I was in GCSE and I was doing graphic design. I needed a compass, but a compass to go around a globe instead of like make a circle, yeah, yeah, and yeah. there wasn't one. So I kind of made a prototype of one, and my teacher used to work for a company and was like, this is fucking sick. Brought my whole family in and was like, if he gives me, you know, does a whole mock-up of it, how you would build it, this, that, and the other, I'll take it to my company and we can we'll see about making it an actual thing. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, 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 cool. I played Swords and Sandals on the PC for a rainy year. <laughs> like, what prick? <laughs> so it could have been anything. Oh, my God. Could could have been you anything. can make them now. They're out. You're actually in the shops now. Yeah. But I could have, that could have been my stupid rich, you know, get rich quick scheme yeah. of something so stupid yeah. as well. It's always those things, hey? It is. It's, always, it's the simplest of things. Yeah. And I always have, I think, little ideas where I'm just like, I want to make my life easier and there's nothing to do it. Mm-hmm. How do I do it? Yeah. And then I come up with an idea, and then someone's like, that's genius. I'm like, yeah, well, I'll never do it. I'll just wait 10 years. <laughs> by the time someone Let me know the it. next time you have one of those. I'll get in contact with your old teacher. I'll make <laughs> it happen. I'll be like, ha, ha bitch. Yeah, no, I try and think of stuff to do in the tattoo industry. Yeah. But I think it's, it's all hard. It's mm. hard to make something new in it. Yeah. Like, I'll, 
I try to, in my head, because maybe you're using. No one fucking does it anymore. Everyone's got pen machines. But if you do an old school and you've got needles on bars, you have to bend them. And it, in my head, I'm like, some days are going to be better than others because you've bent it to perfection, and then one day it's going to be slightly out. So they're going to. And I'm like, if you could have a machine that you put it down and you can like have a roller where it bends it in a certain fucking like three quarters up at this degree you can gonna get it the fucking same every single time mm-hmm. and then but i'll just the more I, that, that time i was like that's a genius idea and then the more i kind of went into it and kind of like started drawing shit i was like that's too fucking easy <laughs> it's too much effort it's, it's too hard to make tattoo warehouse hit us up yeah. Yeah. <laughs> talk to jake and we'll make it happen <laughs> let's do it <laughs> collab awesome it would work yeah no i don't think it would. i don't know yeah to make it work i don't think it I think it'd be more effort than it's worth. And you got all the old school heads where they're just like, I'll just fucking bend it myself yeah, anyway. Yeah. So it's yeah. People don't like change, do they? It's the same people that drive manual cars. We have a manual. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's the same people that drive manual cars. I, I see. I, I drive manual, but if I go home, it, it, everything's manual at home. Okay. So it, it makes more sense for me to drive manual. I don't get it. I'm not a car person, so maybe I just don't understand. I'm not either, but, but I mean, like I learned on a manual, and the only reason I've same. got an auto is because we just needed another car, yep. and, like, I inherited one, like, through mum. But I don't know. I think we could both agree. It almost feels like you're driving more. Like, you're more in control. Like, it's not you just put your foot down. And exactly, it's not, but it's, it's not it that I'm, like, a car person. It's, it's just so much easier to drive an auto. But it's so much easier to speed think, in an yeah, auto. Exactly. Like I know. <laughs> it's so much easier to do, like, bad things in an auto because it's too easy. Yeah, you get but, too complacent. But why Why would you want to make it a challenge to drive? Oh, it just feels like I don't more, get it. Like, I don't know. I always think it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I enjoy it. That's the thing. I don't drive for fun. I drive to get somewhere. Issue. Like I, I always say, I'd go. I don't say I get in the car. And go. This is gonna be fucking fun. <laughs> but like, <laughs> let's do it. Best yeah. part of my day. It actually just feels more like you're driving rather than like almost sitting in a simulation. But yeah, like I would rather feel like I'm sitting in a simulation. Why would you want to feel like you're driving? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, okay. I don't, like, why would you want to? Why would you want to see a red light and have to? Oh, <laughs> when you can just oh red light. Yeah. It's just second instinct, like. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I learned to drive in a manual as well, but then I failed it the first time because driving a manual had a lot of time off from driving, mm. and then jumped back in a manual to try to do my test, failed, and I was like, oh, I can't be bothered. I'm just going to drive auto anyway, so uh, I just got my yeah. auto license. Yeah, so mine, mine was a lot to do with if, uh, if I ever went back home. Yeah, it's just everything, everything's manual at home. Fair. It's it, I, it's. Like here is, well, I say predominantly auto. Yeah. But it's a lot more expensive at home. To Even be on the auto. mines, a lot of things are going auto now, like the trucks and all that. Yeah. Uh, but you still have to have a manual license. Yeah. It's just not that way inclined back at home. It's yeah. just a lot more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. And yeah, obviously, because we were talking about art and stuff, um, cars, art mm-hmm. connects together. Absolutely. How did you get into tattooing? <laughs> Was it uh, from driving a manual? No. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've always been like a crafty kid. I, I'm not like I've never been a good painter. I love painting. Mm-hmm. Like I've always loved art, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't say I'm like particularly skilled at like lots of things. Mm-hmm. Like if I paint, it's for fun. Like it probably looks like a five year old's done it. I'm I'm impatient. Like I don't like having to wait for layers to dry. Like yeah. if I want to paint, I want to paint. Like yeah. it's colorful. It's it's not really purposeful. It's just for fun. Mm-hmm. Um, Much like driving a manual. <laughs> yeah, just for fun. <laughs> um, but I did art through school because I thought, obviously, just being like an arty person, I would enjoy it. And I'm not a math science person. I'm more of an art English person. Nice. I was good at writing the essay parts of art. I enjoyed the learning about it. But like in no way am I like a realism drawer. Like I would have to take multiple classes in order to like sketch a face. Like yep. if I tried right now, it would not... And that's not being modest or anything. That's literally, I know my skills. Yeah. I refuse those projects. I take, give them to other people. Yeah. They'll do a great job. I won't. Like, that's so fine. Um, but I used to draw for school. I used to draw in my books just for, like, doodling. It was always patterns. That's something that my mind kind of picks out of just things. Like, yeah. it, it was for calming reasons. It was just for doodling and moving and not paying attention in class. Yeah. And then my whole uh, year 12 project was to do with, like, self-acceptance and, like, body art, which then 
I don't know. My family didn't have tattoos, so I don't know where I got that from. I feel like there's a lot of people, especially doing this podcast, I ask people that all the time and pretty much everyone's like, yeah, I'm the only person in my family yeah. that's like either tattooed or heavily tattooed. Mm. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a new age kind of thing or if it's just Well, my logic behind it was like I kind of got pushed into when I told the girls I used to play soccer with because I was played higher levels above my age. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't like any... Got a superstar over here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I would... I'd be playing women's when I was a little bit younger, but like still yeah. Divi 5, like I'd play around different teams. Like I loved it, but I wasn't like big in it, but I had women in teams while I was still at school. Yeah. Um, and I'd tell them I was doing art and they were old enough to get tattoos. So like yeah. some of them would ask me to draw them things. Yeah. And then I was like, wow, that's like a, a career opportunity. I didn't know. You got your first tattoo legally, didn't you? Yeah. 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 When I was 18. <laughs> On the day of my school graduation. You got your first tattoo when you were 18? Yeah. How old were you when you got yours? 16? On a kitchen bench. Yeah. yeah. Some sketchy ass dude's kitchen. Yeah, because I was 16. Yeah. yeah. He like, it was late and he came in and was like, sorry, I was at the courthouse. Or you just, or you got raided, or fucking <laughs> something, <laughs> something there and then. I should have been like, mm, maybe we should go. That's but weird because that's what you told me when I came in to get tattooed yeah. by you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> just following the trend. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah right. Waited till you're 18, huh? Yeah, I, I not by like, I followed people to my high school like my friends. So mm-hmm. I went to like a Baptist college. I'm not religious in any way. Like obviously, Sorry. it wasn't really like um accepted to have tattoos at that age like only a few people had them and like i don't think i was in a rush but the day of our graduation we had to do a a practice run of course we did a practice run and then me and my friend went and got tattooed and then we came back and graduated and my first one's on my back and like it was hidden and everything and it was purely i wanted it there it wasn't because it was hidden or not yeah but i didn't think about how many people would be giving me hugs or like patting me on the back which was really dumb, but like it was a, it was fun. And it was, was it a good, good tattoo? Yeah, like okay. I still like good. it. Good, good. Um, I drew it myself, and I got someone else to tattoo it. And by then, I knew I wanted to be a tattoo artist. Yep. Um, but I've definitely like improved my skills so much since then. <laughs> <laughs> you hope so. <laughs> yeah. No, but like different art styles and stuff. Like I've still stuck. I haven't ever changed styles. Yeah. Um, I'm still doing exactly what like I want to do. Um, but like. I don't think I was like I never take took any uni courses for art. Yeah, like I was surrounded by people who were like incredibly talented in like quite a lot of styles. Yeah, and I was pretty much like, this is all I've got. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're very good at what you do. I mean, um, I had Pepe yeah. Geometry on just the other day. Um, the other day it was like three weeks ago. Um, and yeah, we were talking about at the expo how you guys were like neck and neck for oh. best geometry and then i'm so glad she won if it was anyone else i would have been like no nah, i didn't deserve <laughs> it but like both of us i was, I was like, trying to get her to look at the camera and be like yeah fuck you sam <laughs> i won <laughs> but she's too nice she wouldn't do it so um yeah no you are both very good at what you do Thank so you. i'm glad that you guys chose the styles because i can't draw a stick figure so yeah the amount of times i've been asked like as a fairly not heavily tattooed person but person with a lot of tattoos people are like oh can you draw a tattoo for me i'm like no yeah. no that what makes you think that i can draw i get tattooed for a reason i don't tattoo trust so. the people who can draw yeah absolutely <laughs> i'm like i can send you artists that can do it for you mm-hmm. but yeah i'm not not doing anything like that what was what was your first tattoo i want to know what this one was <laughs> on the uh, diamonds fucking on my stomach okay there's either side because i'm a fucking cool kid obviously. <laughs> Fuck yeah was are a cool kid. I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't know if I'm a kid anymore. I'm getting old. <laughs> Just young. Cool. I can't look old, but I feel old. I probably look older than you. It's not good. Like it's 31 in like... 16 days. There you go. There you go. Our birthdays are fairly close. Fairly close. So you're end of November. Yeah. yeah okay. When's your birthday? I can't tell you. No, I'm um, <laughs> middle of December. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So fairly close. Yeah. So what, what star sign are you? I just hit a Scorpio. Okay. And everyone watching is like, oh, fucking Scorpio. Fucking Scorpio. Fucking reeks of fucking Scorpio. Yeah. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam's obviously a Gemini. No. Fuck. I'm a Leo. I do have Gemini oh, in my... Oh, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> it all, this all means fuck all to me. 
I know it means fuck all to me as well, but one <laughs> thing I know is that Leos will let you know that they're a fucking Leo, either with a lion tattoo or by posting on their Instagram, going, it's Leo season. I have no lion no, tattoo. Okay. Fair, you're not. okay, that's okay then. Okay, but like... I take it back. <laughs> I'm slightly <laughs> invested in this, but not. Like, I'm not one of those people who okay. will judge you on your star sign. But I there just hate when, when people use it as like... If you're a dickhead and they're like, oh, yeah, but, you know, I'm a fucking... Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's not dickhead. an excuse. It's like, no, yeah. you're a dickhead because you're a dickhead. Exactly. Don't blame it on your fucking style exactly. sign. No, but, like, okay, listen up. <laughs> <laughs> Class is in session. There is your main sign, which is your sun sign. So are you a Saggy, Sagittarius? Mine's no, no. like mine's like Sagittarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Okay, or yeah. Something. So like you've got your sun, moon, and rising sign. Your sun is like your main sign, so Sagittarius, and Fuck he's yeah, a Scorpio. Yeah. And then your moon is it depends on when you were born and like whatever the time. The moon is like I'm pretty sure like your emotional side. So even though I'm a Leo, as my like main sign, your moon sign is like the emotional side. So I'm a Cancer, which is a water sign, which is the complete opposite of like a fiery like. I'm a leader personality. I'm my emotional side. I'm very soft. I'll cry all the time, all the time. Same, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I don't think I'm one of those people who, like, put it out there, like, I'm a Leo. But, like, if you were Leo Sagittarius, I feel like you'd be a little bit more, like, chaotic and, like, fiery and more of, like, a Leo. But it, it plays a role. There's different signs for different things. So just because you're a Scorpio, <laughs> See, lucky she said it because I was I was Scorpio. I was just about to say that. Like, sure. lucky she got it out before I did because I was just thinking it. But yeah, so what I take away from that is uh, Leos are assholes. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, you seem like a a non Leo Leo, and that's a compliment because. Um. Anyway. <laughs> And that's when we get cancelled. Yes. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck Leos. Come at me. Um, <laughs> I'll let you guys go soon. We'll finish with some rapid fires and would you rather's. Okay. Um, favorite video game? Animal Crossing. <laughs> See, I still don't know what <laughs> Animal Crossing is. I can't. I, no one can explain it to me. What is it? You're the only human in like a cute little island of animals. And they really do not much, but you just do everyday tasks. It's very calming. You fish, you hunt bugs. You so fill like up Sims? A, yeah, but like cuter and less like kind of. personal. But like it's not okay. like a, it's not almost like a life simulator. It's, there's no like chores. You don't have to feed yourself. It's just a more okay. like, it's almost like a, with Minecraft, you can kind of build things. You can kind of so like, like Farmville design. meets kind Sims? Of. Yeah. But like, it's really okay. cute. It's very calming. It's like a. See. Very wholesome game. Because a lot of women talk about how much they love Animal Crossing. Yeah. And when I hear Animal Crossing, I just imagine the the game where you're a frog and you have to cross across <laughs> the river on the logs and stuff. That's all I think about. So it's obviously not that. No. Okay. Yeah, we got busy when we were after the whole lockdown. So yeah. yeah. Well, they released a new game right as lockdown came out. And I've racked Human up. Crossing. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> the new Animal Crossing. I've racked up over 700 hours. 700 hours. Yeah. Good effort. <laughs> just on the treadmill at the gym, just <laughs> Animal Crossing. On the couch. <laughs> That's what you're doing while you're doing the half marathon, hey? Yeah. yeah. At the same time, yeah. without running into things. Yeah. Playing nice. Animal Crossing. That's why you need me to run with you. Yeah. I'm just like guiding you. Cool. <laughs> cool. And then your favorite video game? Other than Animal Crossing, if you can. <laughs> it's a hard question. Because it's got everything. Yeah, it, it depends on... Cause so Give us a top three. Oh. <laughs> it's it's a it's a really hard question. Just for go me. through you've enjoyed. Yeah, not even that because it's I don't know. Elden Ring. Elden Ring was like an amazing game, but I think I still have a soft spot for Dark Souls Three because that I think is what made me fall in love with that genre. And then Baldur's Gate Three that just came out was top tier. I'll probably put that in my top three. Um, but then there's I don't know. There's like single player games, Last of Us, Like Days Gone, Ghost of Tsushima was amazing. There's just a lot of good games. Fair enough. Yeah. Is there a specific, I know nothing about games, just like movies, I know nothing about games. Is there a specific genre that is your favourite? Uh, or type of game? No, I play everything. I say I play everything. I, I play everything probably other than driving games. 
driving gotcha. game is boring me. Fair enough. Which GTA? Like if I want to say it's a driving game. Okay. Um, but even on GTA Online, I wouldn't do the driving thing. Okay. Like I just, like I'm, it, it doesn't do it for me. Um, gotcha. I don't know. I, yeah, it's, I don't know. Single player games? I've, 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 <laughs> as a kid, Final Fantasy was always my jam. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Story driven games. Everything you just said was the yeah, same as when she was explaining the star signs. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing. It's just... No. Video games are is my jam. It's my, my knowledge of video games is like Spyro, Simpsons Hit and Run, Wii, WWE games, and then NBA 2K, and then that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, no. All my money, now that I've stopped buying tattoo machines, now goes into my games room. Fair enough. Nice. Is it looking good? It looks really good. It's going to look good in the little collection. Well. <laughs> it's all right. But yeah, it's nice. It's my little... A little cave. My little haven. Man cave. Yeah, I don't go out much. Yeah. I hide my tummy now, so... <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a home gym in there and then solves... That's that's my. It's me going out. Yeah. If you, to the gym or to work. Yeah. If Fair not, enough. I'm in my... We love that. That's a good start. In my home. That's in a my good my start. In my hole. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no windows. <laughs> Um, second question, what city or country would you most like to visit that you've never been to? I'd love to go to New Zealand. Nice. Anywhere specifically or just New Zealand? I'd just yeah. like to go like exploring. Mm. Like it's just beautiful. I would like, like to as well. It's very yeah. Nice. yeah. Like just the pictures and like I wouldn't mind just literally going on hikes or like going around and like eating and yep. walking and exploring. The food does look good. Yeah. Anywhere nice. in Europe too. Yeah. Italy. Never been to Italy. I know. I say, I say this like now that I'm here, it's like my running joke is that like back at home, if someone says like, oh, you're coming out, where are you? Like, oh, I'm here. You're, like, what? you're a fucking hour away. Mm. An hour? Like, you get fucked. It seems like an insult. Yeah. And then here it's like, oh, see you in an hour. Yeah. And everything is so fucking far here. It's whereas I think now that I'm here, you kind of don't realize that you get to, you can get to any most places in Europe in a couple of hours. Yeah, which is it's not. Yeah, you don't really think about it and how yeah. cheap it actually is. Yeah. I think yeah, I think if I could go back, I'd maybe do that a little bit more. Yeah, but I was pretty broke in the UK. So yeah, <laughs> I, I say that. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah, it is like that. Hey, because I lived in Switzerland for six months and. From Zurich to Geneva was pretty much the same distance from my mum's house to my dad's house. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I, nuts. Italy was always been a big one, I think, for me. Yeah. Just for the food, maybe the wine. Mm. Yeah. And I think, and, and I would like to go to Spain, but I think Spain more because of my style of tattooing. Yeah. I think I'd, f- I think I'd just blend in yeah. there nicely. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Mm. Um, and last one if you could spend the day with one person, Dead or alive, fictional or non-fictional, other than family or friends, who would it be? I'm too bad for this. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said my nan, but I can't be family. Um, my nan, because she's fucking so sweet. No, um, I don't know. Nicholas Tesla? Fair. Any reason? I just like to. Or just first person that came to mind. No, <laughs> I, I think I'd like to pick his brain and see if all the conspiracies are actually like mm. true. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Tell me what you left in your fucking. What head. would be the first question you'd ask? How are you feeling? Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> if he just shows up out the dead, I go, yeah. hey, how are you feeling? Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck would be the first question? Yeah. No, oh, fair enough. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't know. Or someone that just knows all the. The world's dirty secrets. You're never going to know their name, obviously, because it's yeah. big. Yeah. But I think that'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> just to, I think it'd be really fucking depressing at the same time. Mm. But it'd be fun and depressing. Yeah. But that's like life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is true. Life, fun <laughs> but depressing. Yeah. Yeah. Coming to a cinema near you soon. <laughs> God, I had to think so hard because, like, I literally can't. I don't think I've got idols, but I'd probably go with Sam Kerr. If I just had to pick Fair someone. Enough. That's because she's from Perth. Yeah. And, like, she plays a sport that I used to play. And I really love enjoy. Sam. Yeah. And yeah. she's amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, I think we'd have a good day. But I couldn't pick, like, a... 
a low low key flex moment. Um, my friend, she um plays soccer, and I was scrolling through Facebook, and it it came up with the recommended friends, and it was like Sam Kerr, one mutual friend, <laughs> and I clicked on it, and it was her. I was like, oh yeah, just flex. She went to our high school, but I missed her by a yeah, few right. years. Some yeah. Was yeah, there's a, there's a thing where they say you can know anyone within ten people. Yeah, it's, it's insane, insane, hey? Strange. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's crazy. But mm-hmm. when you kind of think about, it, I was like, oh yeah, actually no. Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah, yeah, it was because my friend played for Perth Glory when she was like 16, 17, mm. and Sam was there as well. Yeah, so she's like, oh, yeah, I went to the movies with her and stuff. Wow. I was like, I was like, damn, if you like meet up with her, can you tell her tell tell her to tell Mary Fowler that I said hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, connect a little bit. Um, yeah. yeah, nice Sam Kerr. We love Sam Kerr. Yeah, yeah she's a gun. She's a gun. She plays for Chelsea Women. She does. Mm. I actually did know that. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and you know more about soccer than you thought. Yeah, Mary Fowl plays for Man City. I know that one. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Yeah, fuck Man City. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, the would you rather's? Mm-hmm. I don't even have a would you rather. I've got a. A question mm-hmm. for both of you, but do you guys have would you rather's that you'd like to share? I said one before. Would you rather be sticky or itchy for the rest of your life? And like how sticky and how itchy? Like, like on a cons- scale of one to ten, considerably itchy, like multiple mosquito bites all over you. But like, just you're just itchy, and like if you are sticky, it's like you touch something and it's it leaves residue sticky. and like. I think I'd go sticky. I'd It'd be more itchy. useful to like pick up things. Oh, I could. Spider Man about the Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'd go itchy. Yeah. Really? No, I feel like it's right. I think you'd go. I think it would mentally wear you down. But would you not just. But like. <sighs> With the sticky one, is it, it s- sticky enough where you could like climb onto walls and stuff? Or is it more just sticky enough no, where things like would just get you've stuck? You've spilled honey just all over yourself. Okay. So so how itchy are we talking? Because there'd be no, there'd be no respite, there'd be no relief. No, but then you're also is all sticky. Imagine ro- rolling around in bed, and you're just sticky. Is that just enough? It comes off. <laughs> you scratch yourself to death at the slightest itch. So if you're choosing, is itchy, the itchy one like consistently kind of itchy, yeah. or is it like consistently like you want to rip your skin off? No, just kind of. I mean, like your whole body, but like kind of itchy. But like always. Yeah. I'm going sticky, hundred percent. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I'd go itchy. No, you would. You would. I hate. I have like sticky. a twenty-minute period of feeling a mosquito bite on my ankle when I'm going to sleep, and it drives me nuts. Can you imagine that for the rest yeah, of your so life? Yeah, I'm saying it would mentally wear you down. Yeah, um, fuck that. All over your body as well. I just couldn't touch things and just could constantly be like, imagine touching your phone screen and then just having to like. It's like gloves everywhere. Mm, I don't know. If I that's think a loophole. I think by that logic, with that loophole, if you wear the gloves, the gloves are sticky as well. Mm. What it's going to c- come out of the no, gloves? No, just it makes the gloves sticky. Well, how are you going to put them on with sticky hands? You're just all That's sticky. That's true as well. Get someone to help you. Blow it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think by law with this question, because you can't find loopholes, anything that you like wear There's always a fucking loophole. is also <laughs> sticky. So your clothes and everything are also sticky. If you put a rag over your hand, that rag's sticky as well. So gross. So I'd go. I'd still go <laughs> sticky though. I still I go think. sticky. I just reckon there's a loophole. Yeah. <laughs> if I if I touch enough shit, I'll become unsticky. Like That's you, <laughs> people in the street. <laughs> just go and roll around in some sand. <laughs> there you go. Well, like crusty instead of sticky. <laughs> oh, yeah. But then, by that logic, the sand is now sticky. And you That's just the sand's problem. Layers <laughs> of sticky and sand, and oh, yuck. Yeah. Do you have a one? Do you have a would you rather? No, sorry. <laughs> I'm boring. <sighs> Unbelievable. Okay, so I'll ask yours first because yours is like tailored to you, whereas the other one is tailored to you as well, but you can still answer it. Okay. Okay, so yours isn't a would you rather, but it's a blind ranking. Do you know how they work? Or like okay. one to five, you've got to rank them from best to worst, but you don't know what's yeah, coming yeah, next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Football players. Okay. So okay. once they have a place, they can't move. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep in mind, I have a very limited knowledge <laughs> of football players, so there's not going to be any abstract ones. Okay. Okay. First one. Mbappe. I actually didn't include him. <laughs> Erling Haaland. Four. Four. Okay. I don't know if that's a good spot or not. Um, David Beckham. Three. 
Ibra. Ibrahimovic? Yeah. Five. Wayne Rooney. Two. Messi. Oh, one. There you okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. No. Oh, too no bad. I don't what would you change if you could? I don't think I'd change it. You keep Rooney too. Rooney scored some banging goals. You know who else did? Fucking Beckham. Yeah, but... But he wasn't as sticky, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I think... I don't know how you want to look at it. I think Rooney played it up at a higher... Higher league for longer. Be- yeah. Beckham played for some like. That's well, he moved to Real Madrid and then he went to USA for like what three years and then Italy for half a season and then PSG. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Can't argue with that. I can't because I don't know if that's a good <laughs> ranking or not. Um, and then your one. It's mm. not a would you rather. Okay. I actually do have would you rather. I can ask both of you after this. Okay. But. So it's just would you accept the offer? Mm-hmm. You can eat anything that you want Mm -hmm. and it doesn't change your body at all. So you get to choose how your body looks Mm -hmm. and your weight and that's it for the rest of your life. Yep. No matter what you eat. Yep. But you can never do anything active again. You can't run, you can't go to the gym, you can't play any sports. No. I would go insane. Like I'm You can do other things. No. Like you can go for you can go for walks. I don't. I'm not fit. No, I don't sleep. I sleep what? well. I don't sleep a lot. What if it was just you can't go to the gym? You can do other things, but you can't go to the gym. Mm. So you can go for runs, play sports, but you can't like go to a place to do a workout, whether it's like circus or gym or anything. Oh, I love food, but also like I, I think the gym is the most appealing thing because it's like it's cold. Like you can go there any time. Like it's not hot. Like mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about the summer. Fucking hot. <laughs> Fucking oath. I went to a wedding yesterday aircraft. and it was disgusting. Yeah. So bad. Um, no, I still don't think I'd take it. I wouldn't either. No. To be honest. I'm still yeah. fine with bland food. So, yeah. like, I I enjoy food and I, I really enjoy food. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't mind tailoring what I eat slightly to make sure that I'm, like, healthier. Yeah. But, like, Fair I enough. like, I would, I would actually go insane if I couldn't do anything active. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> And then the would you rather I thought of, you can both answer this. Would you take that offer, by the way, the food one? Say it again, sorry. So you can eat anything that you want, but you get to choose like your weight and body fat and how you look and everything, and that's set. That's it. doesn't mm-hmm. change. You can eat anything you want, but you can't do anything active ever and again. And I'll be healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew that's he was going to say, he yeah. Would, that was what he wanted to do before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then the would you rather I've got is... You can lift literally any weight in the world, Mm -hmm. but you can only lift anything for like one rep and it's a dirty rep. So like you can, you can like bicep curl 400 kilos and you're like, but then if you pick up this, you're also like. (laughs) (sighs) No, because I would love to pick up my my puppy so much. Mm. But you can still pick it up. It's just a struggle. No, because it's like. We rough and tumble. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't think it would be that much bigger a flex. But imagine going to like powerlifting competitions. And they're like, oh, first place, he just pow- he just deadlifted 380 kilos. And you're like, all right, no, because 900 if, kilos. That, that logic, if you're having sex, you can barely lift up yourself. <laughs> and you're like shaking no, you can, you No, can, you can like push yourself up and everything like that. I'm just talking about picking things up. Are you not kind of picking yourself up? No. Have you? No, I'm talking about physically there's something there and you are lifting it off the ground. You're not pushing yourself away from the ground or anything like that. No. So, like, if you do a body weight squat, it's fine. Well, what if you want to get, I don't know, extra rowdy and pick her up and, <laughs> you know? Okay, what if what if I change it to, so I'll take that as a no. What if I change it to any gym movements? You can do it no matter the weight, but you can only do it for one rep. Yeah. So like Why would you not? I don't think there's a con, right? Like you bicep curl one kilo and it's a struggle, but then you bicep curl five hundred kilos and you can it's still a struggle, but you can still do it. No, I don't think I'd get that much satisfaction out of yeah. Doing Everything's a, one a, rep, a big weight, and being like, 
I did that big weight that one. Gym would be real quick. Yeah, <laughs> it would. <laughs> <laughs> Volume training. I did 30 sets, but also 30 reps. Yeah. <laughs> would you take that? No. No, I don't. No? No. If to have a two-minute flex for not being able to lift anything in my gym, I don't know. Fair. Fair enough. Would you? Hmm. I, th- mm, I don't know. I think no. I think it would get boring. It would. But you could win a lot of competitions. What? The Fuji Row? Yep. Powerlifting. What? One? Yep. You're saying you can do it once yep. and then everything after yep. that? Powerlifting is just your max. <laughs> <laughs> like Eddie Eddie Hall, I don't know if you know. Yeah. 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 So he like won a bunch of money because he like broke the world record for the deadlift and deadlifted 500 kilos. Jesus. He almost died doing it. but. <laughs> <laughs> and the money paid for his hospital bills. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, just imagine just like signing up, being like, yeah, I'll deadlift 1,500 kilos. And they're like, no, you won't. And you're like, yeah, I will. And you just go and do it. Mm. And you're like, watch, watch me do it tomorrow. I'll do 2,000 kilos. No. Imagine that. No. Yeah. I don't think I'd take it, but it'd be cool. I have yeah. one, one tattoo related. Would you rather? Ooh, go ahead. Would you rather get an entire body suit? Like, it would have to be one style mm-hmm. and, like, cover you completely. And it's a style that's, like, it's not your worst, but it's, like, not something you'd, like, pick out as your favourite style. Okay. Or no tattoos at all, ever. Do I have to sit through getting the suit or is it just I wake up and I've got the suit? I mean, you'd have to sit through getting it like a tattoo, but you just you could either go from no tattoos and, like, nothing, like, nothing personal, nothing to, like, make you feel good, or it had to be an entire body suit. Or am I paying for the bodysuit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, no, I'm going. Um, oh, you have to. You have. Okay, no, it's free. You have to get either no tattoos or just. A and can suit. I get it like over a period of time, or is it like you're sitting in this chair and yeah, go artists on. are going in yeah, and out but until it just it's has done. to like ideally end up as in a complete suit? Okay. So you're no, I do covered. that then. I do that. Yeah. No tattoos or completely covered. In something that's like, yeah, not your style, but not your worst. When you say body suits, I just think of Jaffa Dean. Mm. Does it include face? Up to oh, it's a body suit. Oh, yeah, okay, up to your neck. Okay. Yeah, I'd do it. Okay. You? Yeah. I could pretend I was in the, co- the Yakuza. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to pronounce that wrong. Yeah, yeah. The, the other one I've got, and it's not a would you rather, is. One food for the rest of your life. As in one meal or like one like specific food? As in like chicken or like chicken chicken parmy and chips? Oh, a meal. A meal. I'm not a big foodie, so I don't I don't know. Like I'd probably go some kind of smoothie just because it's easy. Mm. And I can kind of just drink it. What would be in it? I just do my my breakfast smoothie. So I do uh, mixed berries, banana, mm-hmm. pro, uh, yo pro yogurt, protein mm-hmm. powder, creatine, and water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For the rest of your life. Yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah, I don't know. Because I'm not a big foodie. So, like, my favorite meal that I've ever had is this meal that my dad used to make, which was chicken, bacon, and rice. Mm. And it was fucking amazing. Mm. But I'm also vegetarian now. So, I can't really choose Rules chicken. Yeah. So. What would you eat? I don't know. Pizza. Are you allowed to just say pizza, though? That's a cop-out, because then you Margarita. can have any kind of pizza. Margarita. Okay, fair. I can respect that. Margarita, yeah. yeah. That's fair the enough. staple. That's how I judge any pizza. Yeah, enough. Margarita, that, that's how you, s- you go somewhere new, get their margarita, because if they fuck that up, yeah. I'm not going to bother with the rest. Yeah. But that's the basic. Yeah. So you're going to Italy and getting a margarita pizza. Mm-hmm. I'm getting all of them. Fair enough. Well, actually, no, pizza-wide, I would rather go New York, I think. Fair. Fair enough. Greasy. Not necessarily. I think most of the time... Not necessarily. It's fucking New York. Are you kidding me? Everything's greasy and deep fried. <laughs> it just, no, it depends. There's the, the different pizzas, different places. Yeah, there's some, like, world-renowned, really good kind of pizza places there. Yeah, fair. Same with Chicago. It's all deep dish there, though. Yeah. Although, yeah. That's another thing I'm like a massive snob on. <laughs> we'll get you guys on again and then we'll just talk about pizza. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. He could. Yeah. 
Mm. <laughs> okay, Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> they live a good life. They do. Goals. Back in the sewer, away from everybody. <laughs> with yeah. pizza. Fuck yeah. With I mean, we're in Perth. We're pretty fucking close. Yeah, just and with fucking powers. Yeah. Living the dream. Yeah, lovely. Awesome. I'll let you guys go now. Um, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thanks for having me. Feel free to come back anytime. Um, where can people find you guys, either in person or on socials? In person, nowhere. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, <laughs> on my socials, Jake underscore Axel, yep. A-X-L. Yep. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Well, we both work at Electric Wizard Tattoo, <laughs> so you can find us in Freo, but maybe so just oh me, maybe not Jake. We're going <laughs> to find him, all right. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, Harley, you seem really un- un- unapproachable. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just very bad at small talk. <laughs> <laughs> just wear an Arsenal jersey and show up and then we'll be good. Or a Man City jersey. Uh, yeah, Man City. Yep. Yes, I could when you've got dead. <laughs> I'm going to do that. If I ever come and get tattooed by you, I'm going to wear a Man City you, jersey. You, you say it like it's going to like really bother me. And then where can people find you? Um, Sun Spirit Tattoo on... Instagram and I've got a side account which is Moon Spirit Tattoo. Nice, very nice. Yeah. I'll tag you guys. Um, but yeah, go see him for your Euro trad needs and your Geo needs. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, all that. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Cool. Thanks. Later. Bye.